information is based on extensive research and should be used only under these life-threatening circumstances and at your own risk. <laughs> you are trapped inside a small town shopping mall and are being hunted by terrorists. The local police have been overwhelmed and SWAT backup has yet to arrive. You devised an escape plan, but you're pinned down in a store and an armed gunman is closing in on your position, ready to kill. Okay, listen up. Shooters heading this way. They're going shot by shot. They're two shots down. They're going to be here in a few minutes, and we're going to take them out, okay? We're going to have to set a hasty ambush. We need weapons. Let me see what we got here. This is great. I need two more of these things, okay? You need to go. Fine. Second thing, we need a shield, something that is going to stop bullets. This guy might get a few off before we get them dropped. Okay, see that metal suitcase? Fill that thing with catalogs, phone books, anything, and it's going to stop bullets, okay? Get going. Several phone books inside a metal suitcase may stop a bullet from our attackers. Hey, listen up, guys. This is our strike zone right here. He's going to come in through here. And he's about there. I'm going to pick up the shield, and I'm going to rush him. He's probably going to get a couple of shots off. As soon as you hear those rounds firing, you are going to swing high right here. You, back there, you are going to swing low, and then I will go ahead and pancake him down with that shield, okay? Get position. I need you tucked in there tight. Good. Down. In any ambush, position your forces around a strike zone so that the enemy doesn't have one clear target during the fight and no clear escape once he's been engaged. It's vital to remain well hidden and wait patiently until the last possible moment before the fight. Come here. When I'm on top of him, as soon as we drop him from over there, you rush in, all right? Right to the head. Put him out. Lights out. It's all on you. Get over there. The attacker's attention will be divided. He'll be confused, but fight hard, fast, and dirty. He's well armed and trained. You are not. Good, good, good. magazines and weapons off them, put them right here. He's probably clean, meaning he has no ID, no plans, no maps. But check anyway, any info is valuable. And pull the vest off. Definitely want that bulletproof vest. Bulletproof vests are often made from synthetic fibers that are five times stronger than steel. The front and back plates of each vest are made up of woven sheets of synthetic fiber called Kevlar, joined at the shoulders by fabric strips. Each of these sheets absorbs some of the bullet's energy and diverts it outwards. If enough Kevlar sheets are packed into a vest, it can even stop a bullet from a high-powered assault rifle. Body armor. Front plate, back plate. We chop it on top of the shoulders, we can get two for one out of this. It's gonna be able to cover the chest of two people. Get body armor taped to him and body armor taped to him. Put it on the chest, chest only. This is all about allocation of resources. The two guys who take the guns are going to need the most protection. They'll be facing their attackers, so it's much more important to protect their chest than their back. Okay, it's good. Ready? On me. Stay tight, single file. Tuck in, tuck in. This is gonna be the fastest weapons class you've ever received, so pay attention. AK-47 assault rifle. Here's what you do when you wanna fire this. Into your shoulder, pull it back, and squeeze. When you're not shooting this, you're gonna index your finger, which means you're out of the turn guard. You're forward, and you're gonna high port it. High porting means keeping the barrel pointed at the sky. In case this thing goes off, it goes into the roof and not into one of your buddies. This magazine for 30 rounds. A round is another name for a bullet. Seat it, flicks it. Last thing, this will malfunction on you. Every gun jams. If that happens, rack it, 
get back in the fight. Rakim clears the chamber of jammed ammo and loads another bullet. Get the ammo, get up front. Come here. Take that, reload it, come to the roof. Now, last thing, we're outmanned and we're outgunned, but we can still give ourselves the best opportunity for getting out of this situation, and that's acting like a small military unit. Let's go. Up next, you get a sniper in your sights and you have one shot to take him out. We're in our final firing position. The shooter up there has Kevlar, so we're gonna have to do a headshot. And when the terrorists have you on the run, use SEAL team tactics to clear the danger zone. Our movement only works if you're moving while they're fine. If they're not laying down fire, you're not getting covered through. Oh! 